How to rank in Google Images. Welcome, Superstar Universe, to another Superstar SEO video. I am your host today, Chris M. Walker, and I have decided it's time that I get my due as the most handsome man in South Carolina. So I'm going to rank an image in Google under Google Images and show you a unique way to go about it that has never been shown in public before. So get comfortable or stay uncomfortable if you prefer to be like that, and let's get started. So you want to be a rock superstar and live large, big house, five cars, you can charge. So we're here at YouTube, and I know what you're thinking. Chris sounds like he's incredibly handsome, and you're right. But what you also may be thinking is Chris said that we were going to be talking about ranking a Google image today and not about ranking a video. Well, you're right about that, too. But we're going to be using something that I haven't seen anybody else do to rank an image, and it's worked really, really well for me, and I think you're going to enjoy it. Um, quick disclaimer, the term that I'm going to be using as an example in this video is a complete nonsense low competition term, but this technique works with high, high competition terms and other more difficult terms. But I can't show you anything like that because anytime I put anything that actually means something to me up on the channel here, people take advantage of it, spam it, try to hack it, and so on, and just screw it up for everybody like bad people tend to do. So instead, we're going to have to use something uh, on a channel I don't care about and a term I don't care about. So. You know, thank those people if you ever meet them in person. Okay, getting started. It's going to be pretty straightforward, actually, with some things I've shown in other videos, but there are a couple qu different quirks. The first thing you can do is obviously go to Upload. And we're going to go and find a video file. And the term we are going to be ranking for today is the most handsome man in South Carolina. Because let's face it, I've been denied this honor far too long as it is anyway. So first thing we want to do is make sure that the file name is the most handsome man in South Carolina. And then we're going to go into file properties and details. And if you have a Mac, this isn't going to work. So I'm sorry, I don't know the process, but it is what it is. I'm going to go to details. And in these first few fields, we're going to go ahead and put our keyword. And if you want to get really fancy, you can go ahead and put it in other fields that will allow it. Although I don't find that that does any, makes any difference. But we're going to do it just for the sake of it. So, again, you're probably thinking, what does any of this have to do with an image? Well, you'll find out shortly as you sit here and watch me copy and paste. I'm just trying to keep talking so that I, there's not dead silence while I'm copying and pasting. And I'm trying to provide a little entertainment with my witty personality here. So, you know, you're getting a little bit of education and a little bit of fun. So it's really a great deal for you here. So now we're going to go ahead and upload that. And we've got it in our title here. And then we're going to put it in the description. Like three times should be enough because it's pretty long term. And we're going to put it in the tag. And translations, it's there. And we're going to go over to recording date and put that as today. And it doesn't even show the location anymore. That's kind of interesting. That must be a recent change. Anyway, we're going to put it as English, categories, people, and blogs. And this content has never aired on, the, on television in the United States. Allow comments and all that stuff. Then we're going to go to translations here. And then here's, here comes the money. We're going to go to custom thumbnail. And we have an image that has our keyword in it too. And now we're going to repeat the same process on the image. Now, this will only work on a JPEG image, or at least it won't work on a PNG. So make sure that your image is a JPEG. And again, we're going to put it in all the different fields, although I really don't know that it's necessary in any of them other than the top. But, you know, can't hurt, especially when it's a throwaway keyword like this. But... In my experience, these other fields don't matter, just the top few there. And again, if you have a Mac, I just I don't know what the steps are. I know you don't have a right click on a Mac. I just I can't help you. You can probably Google it though and figure it out. Google something like changing file properties in on a Mac. Skip. And we're gonna upload that. And we're gonna publish. And now we're going to come over to our URL. You're probably wondering about the content of the video. It doesn't matter. It's literally just this picture for a minute in this particular case. So we're going to copy the URL. And now here's where the, the secret sauce comes in. You're going to come over to this website. And there's a bunch of them, but this is just, I like the interface on this one the most. It's uh, git-youtube-thumbnail.com. 
what we're going to do, we're going to stick that in there. We're going to get the YouTube thumbnail address. So what this is going to do is give you the link right to the thumbnail. Man, I'm handsome. And I'd like to reiterate that once again. Just so you know, whenever I say things like that, I'm just trying to be funny. I'm really not that arrogant. So now we're going to come over to Sindwire, which is one of my favorite SEO tools of all time. We're going to grab the title. And we're going to paste that in. Oops. Go into source. Paste that in. And then we're going to come over to the bookmark. And the blog post. And the PDF. And if you're wondering if you can do this without Sinwire, you can. There are other tools that you can post a bunch of links with or you can do it manually. This is just my favorite one and the one that works the best for me. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here and grab the URL to our video. And we're going to paste that in. And we're going to grab our image. URL to our video. We're going to make the anchor text to the video, the keyword. And then this is where the kind of the magic happens. We're going to source. We're going to do a little bit of HTML. So what we're going to do is go image source. And if you don't know how to do HTML, just uh, either rewatch this or just Google it. It's pretty straightforward. It's not like we're doing anything advanced. And then we'll copy this URL, paste. And then we're going to come over here, grab that. And then below the image, this is going to look like not great. I was going to say a bad word, but I'm trying to cut back on that on the YouTube channel, not in real life, because I don't care. And then we're going to grab the URL. And where'd it go? There it is. And we're going to paste. So we get an embed of the video as well. That's not going to work on all the bookmark properties, but it will work on some of them. And then we're going to come over to the blog, grab the video URL, paste. And we're going to do the same thing. So what we can do is come back over here and just copy the code and come over here, paste. Let's make sure it keeps the video because sometimes when you go into source mode, it deletes it. But it worked that time. Then we're going to put the image. And then the same thing for a PDF. So we're going to... there and there's nowhere to put an image on that one unfortunately so now we're gonna submit 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 I think you get the idea we're gonna submit submit Okay, so now we're going to pause for a few minutes while everything gets indexed and update the SERPs. But before we do that, let's take a look and see where we're ranking right now and what we have to beat out. All right, so we're here in an incognito window, and we're going to paste in the address, or the address, the keyword. And hey, look at that. We're already ranking number one in the organic search, so let's see what we have to deal with in image search. Looks like we got to beat out some guy with the bad haircut, the guy from Dharma and Greg, a Tinder profile, Aziz Ansari, and some other people that I don't recognize. And yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to pause, we're going to come back, and we're going to refresh and see if we beat them out. Right now it's 9.23 p.m., so we'll come back and we'll see how long it took and see where we landed. Okay, we are back. It is actually a day later. That took a bit longer than I thought and a bit longer than it usually did, but that's okay. It's still only, you know, less than a day, so it's not a big deal. And uh, let's take a look and see how we did. So we're going to come up and open an incognito window. And we're going to jump over to Google. And 
And we can see our video is ranking number one, but we're looking at images today. So we're going to come over here to images. And there we are, right there in the top row. Now, unfortunately, we did not beat out Aziz Ansari and the guy from Dharma and Greg. And the Tinder profile guy seems to have jumped up to number one. But that's okay. We got in the first row. And the good thing about this is it's really easy to do it over and over again. So I could rank a bunch of other images of me up here being the most handsome man in South Carolina. Because, let's face it, I am. But also because, you know, that way you, can, you really can dominate it. Just to give you an example, I do that with... See, I have it all over the place for Myrtle Beach SEO. Some of these that don't look like mine are actually mine too. So my point is it's really easy to do this with this method and you can rank a lot of different video or a lot of different images that way. So that's all there is to it. Just to recap real quick, you know, create a, a video and you're going to put it on a dummy channel because you don't want this on your main business channel because it's not really about showing the video in this particular case. But, and you're going to optimize it for the keyword that you want to rank an image for and you're going to use a thumbnail that has the keyword of the or has the file name of the keyword that you want to rank the image for and you're going to come over to git-youtube-thumbnail.com or a different site that does the same thing there are lots of them out there i just like this one because it puts the nice big image there for you to see you can grab that url and you're going to do a sinwire blast to that url and embed it on the different properties and if you don't have sinwire you can do it manually or you can use another tool like uh, fcs networker or whatever else there is out there or you can just buy a sinwire blast if you want to do that and then you're just going to wait. You're going to come back the next day and you're going to see that you're probably ranking. So that's pretty much all there is to it. There's a lot of different uses for this. You can have fun stuff like I did here because, like I said, I can't share a, a valuable term on a live YouTube channel because it'll get messed with. But, you know, if you're doing reputation management or if you're doing page one domination as part of your monthly SEO package, there's just a lot of reasons you would want to do this. Maybe e-commerce. You know, that would be a good way to dominate if you have an e-commerce store. So... A lot of different uses for this. Ranking image is pretty valuable, and I know some top SEOs, quote unquote, that have struggled with it. So this is a pretty easy method I have found to go ahead and do that. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you like videos like this, do me the biggest favor and click subscribe, and then click the notification bell next to subscribe so you'll get alerted every time we drop a new video. I know I say this every time, but I'm gonna do my best to start doing more videos. And if you wanna be a part of the conversation tomorrow, I'm gonna be uh, tomorrow, January 26, 2018, I'm going to be going live on Facebook to do a live Ask Me Anything, so you can join us at superstarseo.com slash Facebook. I really take, appreciate you taking the time to watch this and hang out with me today, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.